<laughs> Hippos, the aquatic mammal that can't even swim. How is it that a mostly vegetarian river giant like that can be one of the most dangerous animals in all of Africa? Oh no, out of water in the daytime. Oh no. <gasps> So one of the things that hippos do is use their incredible jaw as like a rabbit trap. They'll open it up and they can open up a huge amount, 150 degrees, and then chomp down like, I don't know, a death trap. And that looks like it might have happened in this case that it, the hippo actually charged and chomped. And that is a deadly combination. They're good on land and they're pretty damn good in water as well. Whoa! Look at the waves it makes. It looks like a special effect, like a movie. What? That is huge. That is so cool. And also in that slow-mo, you see one of the adaptations or behaviours that they do that, that enables them to dive deep under the water. When it comes up, you'll notice that its little nostrils, which have been closed under the water, open when they're up in the air. I suppose like a blowhole from a whale, they just go Hippos are incredibly dangerous and hippos have been known to tip things like kayaks. And it is thought that hippos are responsible for something like 500 deaths every year in Africa, but most of those aren't from boat capsizing, but rather from people entering into a hippo's territory from the water's edge. So there's a lot of people dying from hippos. Look at this little beauty. Ah, oh, look at those little ears. Mm, looks like mom might get out of the water. Hippos are found in lakes and rivers all throughout sub-Saharan Africa, from Sudan in the northeast, all the way down to the pointy bit, South Africa. So they're called hippopotamus amphibious. Amphibious means that they are both on land and in water. And hippopotamus comes from Greek roots. It actually means water horse. Look at that booty. I actually think they could be called land whales though, because their closest cousin on the taxonomic tree is actually whales. Ah! Tiny. I mean, in saying that, they're born at about 45 kilograms, so it's not tiny. That is adorable. They'll stay in the water for like 16 hours a day and they're nocturnal. They'll come out at night and that's when they do their grazing. They are mostly vegetarian. They eat something like 45 kilograms of grass every day. You can imagine how much hippo crap that is. It's a lot of hippo crap. <laughs> it's like a helicopter. <laughs> How amazing are hippos? There are so many different ecological benefits from them moving between land and water. And one of the weirdest ones has to do with silicon and poo. Silicon is a building block of life forms. It's the little structures that diatoms build themselves out of. Now, diatoms are single cellular life forms that form essentially the basis of the food web. So what the hippos do is eat kilograms of grass every day. One of the things that's in the grass is a whole heap of silicon. The hippos then act like a bit of a silicon conveyor belt, keep it in their tummy, get all the way back into the water and crap it out. The silicon goes out into that watery ecosystem and the diatoms are able to suck it all in and reproduce. Reversed! Someone's having too much fun there. Because they eat so much grass, scientists thought that hippos were vegetarians. If they are, 
turns out they're not very strict. We have a standoff here, an unusual standoff for this part of the world. We've got a crocodile and an impala. This is fascinating. Oh, no. God. No, the impala might make a run for it. Oh, it's going to be in trouble now. This is going to give me a heart attack. Oh, this is unbelievable stuff. Here comes a hippo in too. Go, Impala. There's a hippo coming in. I can't believe what we're seeing here. This is what we'd normally see in East Africa. It's all over. Hippo leaping at the crocodile now. It's precisely what we expected to happen. Wait, if something came up. Zoom out, zoom out. The Impala took a leap there. Oh. What's going on there? I think they've grabbed the crocodile. <laughs> Hippos don't like crocodiles. It's because crocodiles can prey on their young. So, yeah, when they see them in their territory, they're likely to see them off the premises. <gasps> Look at how many there are! They are oh, going yeah. for it. Get out of our Wow. Ooh. Oh, crocodile. Ain't looking good for you, mate. You can see that these hippos are feeling aggressive. You're seeing some really big yawns that show off their main weapon, those big teeth and those huge jaws that can clamp down. In fact, the charge and chomp apparently ripped in half a four metre crocodile once. That's how powerful a hippo chomp is. Got him. Got him big time. So if you're kayaking, you need to stay away from hippo areas. And if you know that you're in a hippo area, maybe bang the side of the boat and make lots of noise so that they know that you're coming along. Don't sneak up on a hippo. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, why don't you click around? Because on ABC Science, we've got heaps of videos that are just like this. In fact, we upload them every single week. So it's worth hitting subscribe and I'll see you here next time.